here put the hat back on the goose. I just did. Oh. Well, Michigan basketball team is in the national finals tonight, so that's why I want to make sure this hat gets on. And then Ken will remove it tomorrow.
and her eyes are going to be covered, but we have to make sure the M shows. We've got some more apples from the Alpine Chocolate House here in Gaylord. They make uh, chocolate covered and caramel apples, and they get these Granny Smith apples shipped in from Washington State. And any of the apples that have any imperfections at all on them, uh, they save them for us. They only use the uh, very best of the best.
All right. Well, you probably get started, like Brenda was just saying. Uh, the reason we've got Woody dressed up right now today for in his Michigan University of Michigan garb is our University of Michigan basketball team tonight is playing for the national championship. So uh, Rudy or Woody is here to root on our uh, our Michigan Wolverines uh, onto a victory, and hopefully uh, tonight they will be the uh, national champions for this year. All right, here, I'll give you those, and I've uh, got a couple cards to, or, or a card and a letter to share with you there, but I'm going to start out with some thank yous. Yeah, they must have lost the drum out of here. Yeah, see, I don't see them. Possible. Yeah, they're not too far. I'm sure they'll be coming back in. All right, uh, I want to start off by think, uh, thanking Linda Kortzmeyer. Uh, Linda's been helping us out on a regular basis, and uh made a purchase in the store, and uh, Linda, that's all wrapped up, and uh, you should be seeing that sometime probably later this week. Uh, Linda's down in Ward, Arkansas. Uh, also, uh, Jacques Pilon, and I know I didn't double check that, because I know I know you've purchased from me before, and you use a different first name, so sorry about that, but made a purchase, uh, in, uh, and that's going off to... Uh, you in Elliott Lake, Ontario. So thank you very much for that. I'd also like to thank uh, Karen Gingras, and she's from Burlington, Vermont. And who else do we know that's in Burlington, Vermont? Our daughter and two granddaughters. Yep, absolutely. So we're kind of hoping that maybe uh, they might see you where, well, I shouldn't say what you're buying, but <laughs> hopefully they'll see you uh, wandering around in Burlington with your purchase. Although, Karen, I sent you an email. Hopefully it went to the right address. It didn't come back. Uh, just wondering what sizes to send off to you. So if you can uh, let me know that, you can just send a, uh, an email to snowman at snowmancam.com. And uh, Richard will get those right off and in the mail. And uh, also I'd like to thank uh, Denise Elaine from Warren, Ohio. Uh, made a donation here to, to help us feed the wildlife. And while I'm talking about uh, items from the store, uh, as many of you know, Richard runs runs our store, and he's going in for surgery this Thursday, and he's going to be down for a while. Uh, he's going in for surgery Thursday, and then he's going in uh, for a very serious surgery on the 20th of the month. So uh, if, if you are interested in something from the store, uh, now might be the time to order that, because Richard has said he's going to... He's going to work it right up until he leaves uh, Thursday morning, which actually by Wednesday night. So if you've been thinking about getting something from the store, uh, now's the time to do that and uh, to be sure that that gets in the mail and gets off to you. And then any orders after that, there may be a slight delay uh, in you receiving them. Uh, Richard, uh, Richard's wife, Jean, has graciously ag agreed to help us out, but uh, she's going to have her hands full to Karen for Richard. So, uh, expect any delays on anything that's ordered uh, Thursday and beyond. But uh, as of right now, Richard's going strong. Uh, I think he's probably on his way to the post office right now to put in the orders from last night. So uh, uh, so feel free to, to get, us, get us those orders. And then also, too, uh, especially on the clothing orders, uh, if you can let us know when you order them, what size. I know a lot of people uh, have said that there's not a place to put the size in there, but you've got a couple different options. There, there, there is a box, and it shows up on most people's browsers that says note to merchant, and uh, those come right to me. So you can put your size in there. If not, another option uh, that we discovered yesterday, uh, you can put the size right in the, uh, when you fill out your address portion of it, too. There's always an extra line in that address area, and you can just put in uh, sizes. And uh, if worse comes to worse, if either one of those options work for you, uh, just send me an email to uh, snowman at snowmancam.com, and I'll be able to match that up with your order to make sure you get the right thing, and, and then that uh, will make sure there's no delays, because Richard's been great about uh, getting stuff out uh, almost uh, every time he gets it out the same day that it comes in. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, just want to welcome the new folks that joined our Facebook page. We had a lot of new people that came in yesterday, so welcome. And uh, like uh, I mentioned before, uh, when you come in, uh, feel free to introduce yourself so the rest of the people on the site will know who you are and where you're from. Uh, 
I, I see where you're at when you sign up because I can see your Facebook profile, but nobody else knows you're there until you uh, actually make a post. So give other people uh, in the room there uh, the pleasure of uh, welcoming you to the site. Uh, also, to uh, uh, YouTube, I uh, wanted to mention that uh, we, we wound up with a lot of people that, uh, that subscribed yesterday, which is pretty cool. I think we're up to 530-something. And uh, my goal is to be at 750 by the end of the month. And we put something in there that's uh, kind of new and kind of cool. Uh, a gentleman from uh, New Guinea uh, put together a trailer like what you might see for an up-and-coming movie. And he, uh, he did it on the snowman camp. It's actually not finished. It's just kind of a rough thing that he sent me to, to see what I thought about it. And I, I thought it was very cool. So I uploaded that rap, that rough version to our YouTube page. So feel free to check that out. Uh, but he's going to work on polishing that, and then uh, he's going to upload it to our Facebook page. So if you're uh, one of our Facebook uh, followers, you'll see it there. So uh, Alex uh, Piper in New Guinea, thank you very much for putting that together. Uh, we, we thought that was pretty cool. We thought you actually did a very nice job uh, with what you've done so far, but I, I know uh, that you want to make it even better. Uh, and to find all our social media, our Facebook, our uh, Twitter, our YouTube page, the best way to find those is just go to snowmancam.com. That's our official website, snowmancam.com. And at the top of the page, you'll see a link there. You can click on it. that will take you right into our YouTube page. You can click on that link. A little box will pop up asking you if you want to subscribe. And uh, that's it. It's all free. It's free to subscribe. It's free to join YouTube. And uh, you'll get a chance to see things there that you just won't see anything else or, or anyplace else. And uh, you'll see behind-the-scenes video. You'll see uh, past news stories. Uh, you'll see a lot about... Uh, you know what we're doing here and why we're doing it. So that that's a great way for new people to uh, to find out what's happening here. Um, I also want to thank, as always, the folks at EarthCam. I think they still have us featured today, don't they? I didn't I, look. Yeah, when but, I looked uh, earlier. Yeah, they've really been promoting us. Uh, I think because of uh, Woody being dressed up like the Easter Bunny, they thought that was appropriate. So thank you to the folks at EarthCam, and uh, thank you to all the people in EarthCam that uh, have been posting pictures uh, from here in the Hall of Fame. That is really a nice way to introduce the site to uh, to other folks out there that are interested in uh, seeing wildlife and uh, snow. Oh, the deer are coming back in now. So they must be able to tell by the way I talked that I'm starting to wrap things up. Uh, I've got a couple things here to share with you that we just got in the mail. And, well, the first one is uh, from uh, Older Jet. I just wanted you to know I received your letter. And I'm not going to mention what this is about. You and I know what it's about. And uh, it's going to be a surprise for everybody. So when, when every, everything comes in and it's ready, uh, we'll invite the appropriate person here and we will surprise him. And uh, thank you very much for being a part of it. And then we received a card. And this is from Linda. And Linda lives in Lower Michigan. Very, very cool card airplane on the front of it and it says the words are few but the thanks are many and it says Ken and Brenda thank you for feeding the wild uh, animals every day I also feed the animals include, including the deer and lots of turkeys uh, heck I use the snowman cam as a screensaver some days it's very calming to watch all sorry it's kind of written on an angle here all the animals interact with each other. Okay, so it's calming to watch them interact with each other. Uh, then it goes on to say, uh, you guys do a great job, and Danny does also. Have a wonderful Easter. God bless, Linda from Lower Michigan. So we just received this today, so thank you very much. And Linda, we hope, uh, we hope that you had a very nice Easter yesterday also. Here, we'll give that back to you. And I just want to say I kind of did a little research because we thought the porcupines were mating. But um, what I was reading is they actually mate in October, November. Their gestation is about 120 days. Depending on the breed, this one says 16 to 31 weeks. They usually have one to two. Um, so I'm thinking it's probably males fighting. I'm not sure what the noise was because they said the males will do that. Um, and baby porcupines are called porcupets. 
And then um, there was another thing here. A group of porcupines is called a prickle. Just like a pickle, but with an R. So a prickle, and they usually have one to two babies. Okay. And they're about the third of the size of the mom. And they last about 15 years in the wild. And that, that makes sense, too, that they could be fighting, or we're not sure, or showing dominance over each other. We've had, what, three of them here at a time? Yeah. And we're not sure if it's a male or a female. Uh, I know I'm not going to check. <laughs> if anybody out there wants to come and handle a porcupine and find out if it's a male or female, I'm not sure how to tell by looking at them. So we might have three males here. We might have two males and a female. We'll find out. But, uh, yeah, we're kind of hoping uh, we may see some babies uh coming up. You said 120 days, so that would yeah. put it into, what, end of April? Yeah. Pretty close. Well, when all the babies start yeah. arriving in the spring. Or, or really any That way right they now. can get big enough before winter comes so they can survive. It's very funny. It's seen the deer standing here watching us, and then I hear the turkeys gobbling somewhere. I'm not, it sounds like it's coming from behind us, but that might be an echo. All right. Uh, you probably want that? Yep little thing there. I don't know. Do we have anything Michigan for little Miss Kitty? No. Or no? no? Okay. Well, we know she's definitely a Michigan fan, so hopefully uh, you'll be able to uh, watch the game tonight. I think it's on, what did you say, 8 or 9 o'clock tonight? I'm not sure. Eastern. And I don't want to get on my internet right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think we've got all the food out, right? I think so. All right, so we're going to get out of here. I'll just make sure there was nothing else on my list I wanted to yeah, share with you. whole flock of turkeys up there. Oh, they're there, and okay, deer. and then deer. So they're, they're probably going to be in here minutes after we leave. So uh, we're going to go ahead and thank, uh, or we're going to take off. Uh, and I also wanted to mention, too, uh, again, Richard's going in for surgery Thursday, and if any of you would like to send a card, uh, you can send it to our P.O. box, and we will make sure that he gets it. And uh, our P.O. Box is 888 Gaylord, Michigan, 49735. And uh, if you didn't have anything to write with, that's on our website, too, uh, what our mailing address is. If you uh, click on the Feed the Wildlife link at the, near the top of the page, you'll, you'll see that address again. And uh, if it's a card for Richard, if you can just write on the envelope somewhere for Richard, we won't open that, and uh, we'll make sure that gets to him. Uh, let's see. Anything else on the, the horizon? Snow? Did you tell them how much snow we're expecting? Yeah, yeah. They're saying uh, a foot to 18 inches between now and Wednesday morning. I think the bulk of it's supposed to come tomorrow. So it may look completely different here. And I think the wildlife knows it because yeah, a lot of them are starting to gather here now. They're starting to look a little impatient. So, uh, so watch right. for that. That'll be fun. Root our Michigan team on to victory. Uh, hope wherever you're watching that from around the world that uh, you are warm and comfortable and dry and safe and uh, that you're in good health and also that uh, you're well fed. And uh, with your help, like the folks I mentioned here earlier, uh, we'll be here every day putting out food uh, to make sure the wildlife makes it. And I just felt something at the back of my neck. That's not good. No. So, it must have been water. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. yeah, just water. Got lucky this time. For All right, go blue. Go blue for sure. And thank you to Robert and Lisa Huda. They're the ones that uh, gave us the, uh, the goose hat and the, boy, stuff is really falling out of the trees. The goose Probably hat the and the t-shirt. They, uh, they let us borrow that for the day. And uh, yep. hopefully that will bring our team uh, good luck. So thanks, everybody. Take care. And we will see you tomorrow. Go blue.